What? Soon everything around here will be flooded with lava? But how? We don't have a volcano nearby. Where would the lava come from? Oh no, that's too bad. JJ! Lava will flood the whole village? But that's just awful! We need to find a shelter and save the villagers sooner. Oh, I don't want our house to burn in the lava. It's just unthinkable. <laughs> Mikey, don't worry about it. I have a real plan. We already have a shelter ready to go. It's a bunker not far from our house. We can save ourselves and the villagers. Let's go quickly. Okay, JJ, I hope you know what to do. Because if you don't, we'll both die, and so will all the villagers. And we can't let that happen! You're right. We have a lot of responsibility. Let's go to the kitchen, gather some food, and go to the bunker. Oh, what was that sound just now? Ah, oh, Mikey, the lava is coming. The sky is already turning orange. That means it's coming. Hurry, let's go. JJ, let's get all the food out of the refrigerator. There are a lot of apples and a lot of other things in there. Also, let's take the armor with us. We might run into monsters along the way and we'll need armor. Oh, I hope it's okay because I'm really, really scared. Don't be scared, Mikey. It's only lava. It will come and go after a while. All you have to do is wait it out in a safe place. And we're lucky to have it because we don't have time to build a new bunker. So let's just hurry up and go explore the new place. Look! That sky is really almost red. That means we don't have more than an hour to see the bunker and save the villagers. Let's go. I think it's right here. Hmm. I'm surprised I didn't notice it before, even though it's so big and conspicuous. Mikey, the main thing inside is to go through the defense system. These are extremely dangerous lasers. I put them there so that in case of a zombie apocalypse, no zombies could get in. But we don't need it now, and there's no way to turn it off. We have to go through the lasers. Then let's go! I'm sure we'll make it! But then how do we get the villagers inside? They won't get through the lasers for sure. JJ, this is bad news. Then they'll have to survive on their own. Hey subscribers, what would you do if the lava apocalypse started? Would you crawl into the refrigerator or would you go down to the basement? Write your answer in the comments. Mikey and I are interested, thanks. JJ, let's go downstairs. What's in our bunker besides laser defense? Do we have cakes and cookies? I love cakes and cookies. And I can't survive without them inside. Mikey, we're here. And yes, we have cakes and cookies. Look in those chests. There's good stuff all over the place. I don't know why, but I also got a lot of bread. We have apples and cakes and bread. We also have diamond armor and a sword with a bow, arrows, and shield. This is in case our base is attacked. Well, if a horde of zombies or something, we always have a minigun, a laser beam cannon, and a rocket launcher. I have this bunker well prepared for all occasions. Even if we're attacked by an ender dragon, we'll be ready for that too. That's what our bunker is for. What do you think of it? Do you like it? Yes, JJ. I definitely like that. Your bunker is definitely lava-proof. I hope we can easily survive this apocalypse. Thanks for putting the cakes in the chests. It will save me from everything. Now I'll put this diamond armor on just in case and we can go into the other room and see what's in there. I hope we have a bedroom and something else so we can sleep and not be bored. Oh, that's right, Mikey. Behind that big steel door, my laser defense system awaits us. You and I will have to go through deadly lasers. I don't know how yet, since it was meant to protect us from zombies and... Um... I haven't figured out a way around it. We'll have to literally jump over the laser beams. But it's very dangerous, and we have to do it carefully. Oh, JJ, this is harder than I thought it would be. Are you sure we can get through this? Hmm... I don't know how we're gonna make it. Wait, though, um, I have an idea. I think we can jump over it if we jump over these laser things. There's a good chance we'll be okay. So come on, let's go. Come on, Mikey, you almost made it. Hmm, I'll watch you do it and do it again. You're smart and you're good at it. I'm sure I can do it just like you. Okay, the main task after that is to see what else we have in this bunker. I think we also have two more rooms and we even have a game room with laptops. We'll see about that. Okay, JJ. Then I open this door and we go inside. Are you ready? What's in here? Oh, it's a bedroom. You made a great bedroom. It looks very spacious. It's even better than what we have in our house. These beds are really big. And we have smartphones so we can call each other and play mobile games. It's cool. Really cool. Mikey, take a look at this. You're gonna love it. This is the playroom. It's already got cakes and lots of other things. We need this place so we don't get bored because it looks like we have to stay in this bunker for days. We have a big TV 
that you can also play games on. There's a comfortable couch, and most importantly, it's laptops! They are gaming laptops with 150 games, and we can play that all day long. That seems to be the best thing in our bunker. Don't you agree? Yes, JJ! That's awesome! I hope this bunker doesn't leak lava and we'll be okay. If lava gets in here, everything will melt! After all, the lava is very hot and we won't even be able to save our game room. And we have laptops and a giant TV in here. Okay, now all we have to do is wait. I suggest we get some sleep, Mikey. As long as we sleep, we'll easily miss the time before the lava gets here. But since we're ready for it, we'll be fine. Besides, the bunker is protected against lava leaks. That means we'll just hear the loud sound of lava flowing and no more. It won't be a big deal and we can just keep living here until the lava is gone. All right, good night, Mikey. Have a nice sleep. <sighs> Did you hear that, Mikey? It started. Now we have the apocalypse. Wait, wait, what? Oh, it's lava and it's flowing through our bunker. Oh, no, 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 hurry. Let's hurry up and fill in all the holes. Mikey, I got the water. We need to patch all the holes in the bunker as soon as possible. Otherwise, they'll melt the bunker walls even more and flood the whole place with lava. It's extremely dangerous. That's why there's not a minute to lose. Let's do it. JJ, we've already patched the first hole. We did it. The lava isn't leaking anymore. Let's see what's in the next room. I bet there's more lava in there. That means we'll have to fill all the holes there as well. Let's go, Mikey, don't step on the lava. Otherwise, you'll instantly ignite and burn, which will be very unpleasant and painful. But I've got water for that, so you'll be fine. Okay, there are three holes leaking through here. That means we need to plug each one. Otherwise, everything in the bunker will burn up. We've got a lot of valuable stuff in here. After we fix it, we'll go outside and see what's going on. I hope the villagers found a way out of the situation and managed to survive because the lava outside flooded everything around them. Unfortunately, we couldn't save them because our laser defense wouldn't have let them through. JJ, we're done. Now all the holes are sealed and the lava is no longer leaking into our bunker. We need to go to the surface and see what happened. I wonder what happened to the villagers. I'm curious too. Oh, I'm really worried. Let's hurry up those stairs because we had to help them. Hmm. What's out there? Oh my god. Everything is flooded with lava. And there doesn't seem to be a single island underneath. There's just lava-filled paths that aren't flooded. Oh, Mikey! Look, look at the rooftops. That's where all the villagers are. They survived. Yay, that means they're okay. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video. You're the best viewers in the world. Thanks for watching. Check out our other videos. Bye-bye.